to try and chop down this big deficit. You know, earlier we were talking about the team manager of Finebra, San Boilim. What about the team manager of uh, San Miguel, see Hector Calma? We saw him earlier during the huddle of the beer men, and he also is such an influence and such a presence for the beer men. And again, another three-point shot for San, Mi for San Miguel. And another rebound for Kikagiwa. He has 11 rebounds tonight. And talking about Hector Calma, want to wish his wife Ines Calma a happy birthday today. Wala na kay Artadi. Artadi forward pass intercepted Miller. And here's Tubit. Tubit on the move. Hatfield. Hatfield has done so much damage uh, for Hinebra. And here's Meng. Oh, overshoots. Oh, God. That looked like a hot potato. <laughs> that nobody wanted to touch. Pati si Hatfield atawa. Parang ano eh. Parang yung yung cheat sa restaurant. Walang gusto humawa. <laughs> Here's another three-point shooter coming in for San Miguel. No, make that two three-point shooters. Nick Penisi and uh, Sandy Salvachon ready to check in. Well, Kirito, whatever happens, this Enebro defense will limit San Miguel to a very low output tonight. That's right. Uh, any team that's able to hold San Miguel to less than 80 points means that uh, they did a good defensive <laughs> defensive job. I thought Alex Cabagnot, Mr. Clutch himself, really has not been able to play his kind of game in this one. And my eyebrows are safe <laughs> for the moment. <laughs> so three and a half remaining. And things looking bleak for San Miguel here in game number three. Now uh, here's Denok, he'll fire away. That's another three-pointer taken by San Miguel. A dying three-point uh, attempts in San Miguel, especially here uh, in the last few minutes of this quarter. Atang barangay Big Dome, nararamdaman na, naaamoy na ang unang panalo ng Hinebra in his best of the seven series. Now here's Hatfield, Hatfield over to Tubit. Shot clock down to six, Tubit fires, no go, in and out. Rudy Hatfield with the rebound. You know, I'd be interested to check the free throws to Maccabi Lantin, no? I think Barangay Inebra had a lion's share of going to the line, being more aggressive, and uh, putting San Miguel into penalty situation. I think San Miguel has been in penalty situation in all four quarters of this game. And certainly you credit the aggressiveness of Inebra, which they displayed from the very start right. of this game with Rudy Hatfield and Mark Kagiwa. I mean, they set the tone and they followed it up. I also thought that Willie Miller played a stellar role. Off the bench. Yeah. Yes, off the bench, and uh, I think he responded to his new role as a reliever. But you know, it's not really who starts as far as Willie Miller is concerned. It's who ends the game, and right now, Willie Miller is on the floor. Approaching the last two minutes, deep as the fourth quarter, and look at the energy of Rudy Hatfield. Over to Mark Aguirre, intercepted by former teammate Sunday Salvacion. Now here's Denok. Denok with the drive and the layup is good. But, uh, San Miguel will not, uh, will not have enough time to erase uh, a 19-point uh, deficit. Here comes Kabagdot. Well, I've just been handed here by our good friend Roy, the uh, free throw stats of the game for Barangay Inebra, it's 17 out of 32. And for San Miguel, 5 out of 10. Hindi lang kokonti ang tinira nila. Yung field goal, yung free throw percentage, ang baba pa, 50%. 5 out of 10 for San Miguel. And for Barangay Inebra, 17 out of 32. And you could tell that there was a sense of urgency for Barangay Inebra when they answered the call for this one. Last two minutes! Well, scoring there. Pasok na tayo sa uh, last two minutes of the ball game and uh, Inebra just less than two minutes away from scoring uh, their first win in this series. This is game number three. Now here's Wilson. Meng. Meng will fire a three. Oh, Meng yes! He got it! Hit a three! He got it! 
a three-pointer coming from Eric Meng, and he's in double figures. And that should really be the halo halo on the, or the that's the ube on the halo halo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the finishing touches of a Hinebra win. Back in the opening quarter, he never led by as many as 16 points. They used the early aggressiveness and energy of Mark Agiwa and Rudy Hatfield. In the second quarter, they nagdagan pa ng Hinebra yung kanilang kalamangan at 25. In the third quarter, San Miguel, remember San Miguel had an early run led by Paul Arcadi, yes. but Hinebra made critical baskets to uh, counter uh, Hinebra, uh, San Miguel's rally. That's right. That lead was down to a single digit in the third period at the height of that uprising by... Uh, San Miguel and then Miller Mark Agiwa JJ Helterbrand they made big baskets in that third quarter had that strong finishing kick to end the third and preserving their lead when they entered the fourth I thought the bench was uh, was very was very key for Barangay Nebra in this one and Eric Meng with 12 points this is only Meng's 11th game this conference and only the third time he has scored in double figures John Wilson getting to see action here para sa Hinebra, the rookie mula sa Jose Rizal University kasama si Jimbo Aquino na kapwa, ano niya, kapwa NCAA star for Jimbo naman ang galing sa San Sebastian is John Wilson who fires away now th there's a question here Kinito yung J. Washington problem eh, ibig sabihin ba nito to panalo to na Hinebra that they, have they finally solved that problem I don't think so I think uh um, Jay Washington playing the three spot will always be a big problem here, a big headache for Barangay Never. But I thought they were able to compensate by having Hatfield play him really tight from the outside. Got him into foul trouble. So Hatfield was very offense-minded in this one. And uh, I thought it was also critical that Jay Washington got into early foul trouble. And that took away his game. Shot clock down to four. Elter Brad outside Wilson. Wilson will always fire away, but he missed that time. And now Kabagdot has the leather, and San Miguel will try to regroup uh, in time for game number four on Wednesday. There's San Miguel. Yeah, he's not finished yet. Steal, but a miss. So you, I think, is some series. B make talking text. That's all tied up. Two games apiece. And in this one, it's now a series because he, he never's worst fear was to go down three zero. Which, which is why this was really a must-win game para sa Hinebra. And here's still a foul given up by Alex Cabagnot. That uh, made absolutely no sense. <laughs> <laughs> Thankful naman si Jimbo aki. No? <laughs> Maka-score siya. Oh, Maka meron siyang two points. Uh, meron na siya one point. And now make that two points. A jam-packed crowd. A sold out Sunday. And our semifinals, the PBA Philippine Cup is just heating up, friends. Hinebra winning here in game number three. Magamat lamang pa rin San Miguel in the series. Two games to one. Final score po natin, 95 78. And Hinebra winning big here inside the big dome. We'll be back to analyze what happened here in just a moment. Back with us here at the Big Dome, talking to Mark Aguila after he never had just won their first game here in the semi-series. Boy, that fourth quarter really found a lot of opportunities for you guys to get your composure back and, of course, get your defense intensity back. Well, uh, we know that, uh, you know, we're up by 20. I know they're going to make a run. And, you know, they made, they made a run at the third quarter. And we tried to get it back at the fourth quarter, and we did, and we played some good D, and uh, we got good stops at the end. 17 points, 12 rebounds for you, obviously. You really put your heart into this game. But I also saw and witnessed that you guys were very emotional all throughout. Well, uh, what they didn't see is um, me and Rudy got into it, and uh, me and Rudy was just, you know, talking to it to each other, you know, uh, a really emotional game. It wasn't because of, of him telling me something or him telling me anything. It was just... We just needed this game really bad. So, you know, anything, we didn't have to but, you know, you, you got to tell them something. Up. We, we, we are, we are. All right, well, time to greet, Mark. Well, uh, I just want to greet everyone there in, uh, in Vergara, Mandaluyo, Alcaraz, and uh, to my mom, my dad, and uh, Eagle Rock, Glendo, baby, to my brothers. Love you. All right, Miko, Kenito. Ayan, Patang Mandaluyo, uh, Mark the Spark Kagiwa. Ayan, binato pa yung kanyang headband, souvenir 
for all the happy fans uh, dito sa loob ng Araneta Coliseum and Kinito, you know, Mark personified the urgency and the intensity of, of Hinebra dito sa Game 3. Well, the fact that he asked Coach Joseph Chico to insert him in the starting lineup, I think that shows you that for this particular game, Mark Agiwa realized a sense of urgency. He had to deliver. He put the team on his back with 17 points and 12 rebounds. You couldn't ask anything more from a guard, a small guard at that. At tamang-tama naman na sila ni Rudy Hatfield. Eh, nagsagutan nga sila. But they were the two most intense players at the start of this game. And it carried over for the rest of the game. I thought it was very infectious, particularly the intensity ni uh, Rudy Hatfield. And Eric Meng got into the picture. He contributed double figures. Two big double figures as well. And uh, contributions from a lot of players, role players like Willie Wilson and JC Intal. And JJ Helterbrand had that big three-pointer at the point when he was missing a lot of shots that also lifted the spirits of this team and you know when you're playing against a very deep and talented team like San Miguel it's it's that that never say die spirit of Parangahi Nebra that can carry them over and they certainly needed that spirit in uh, tonight's uh, game you know they were they were in danger of falling 0-3 in the series and now things have completely changed so when the series resumes on Wednesday, babalik tayo sa Big Dome, Hinebra can actually tie the series with a victory against San Miguel, which of course will not be an easy task. It's not going to be an easy task at all. Jay Washington is definitely going to bounce back from a lackluster game here. I think he's going to make major adjustments. He still has that major matchup uh, situation that if he's taken up by Rudy Hatfield outside, then Arwin Santos in that matchup against Rudy, uh, Ronald Tubit, that's going to compensate. And... Talk and Text and B make their base tabla na pusila. Talk and Text, number one team in the elimination round. They were favored over B make, but this series all tied up. Well, we've said it before at the start of the semifinals, both these series made in heaven. And uh, it's a fan's dream. B make versus Talk and Text and Baragahi Nebra versus San Miguel B. You can't go wrong. Those are two excellent matchups here in the semifinals. So, Molipo, this is a sold out Sunday. B make ties the series against Talk and Text, winning 98. 93 and he never moves in with their first win uh, in the series beating san miguel 95 to 78 for patricia bermuda season margo vargas my partner el decano senor Kinito hanson and the rest of the hard-working men and women of solar tv i'm miko halili saying good night well out of filipinas this is the pba on solar tv